What's going on everyone? I thought I'll do another video. I am in a great mood. My voice is starting to come back. So I thought I would hit you up with another video about how you can get started in property. So this is one of the major questions I get a number of times from people that I speak to, people that I train, people that I mentor. Look, as a brand new business that wants to get into service accommodation or rent to rent, you are going to have a few issues. Naturally, for someone to give you an asset to say, hey, do you know what? Hi, fantastic, take my property. They need to be able to know that you're going to be able to pay the rent. They need to be guaranteed that they are making the correct decision by giving you a hundred thousand pound to a five hundred thousand pound asset. So especially when you're working with a state agent, it's going to be a little bit difficult. There's no point in me sugarcoating it and saying, hey, you just ask a landlord or an agent for a property and they'll give it to you because that's not the case. The fact is you need to, in some form or some way, convince them that you are a credible person. Now, by being a credible person, the way that they judge whether you are a credible person for them to give you a property for your rent to rent or service accommodation business is if you pass reference it. So the struggle you're going to have as a brand new business is, number one, your business is brand new. There is no credit history. There is no, no reference point. They can't find out your, your, your background. They can't see whether your company's in debt. Do you owe money to this person and that person? They have no credit history. So it makes it very, very difficult. So there are a number of things that you can do. And I'll start with this one because it's the most, uh, it's, uh, let me say it's the most vague. Because this one depends again on your ability. It comes down to your ability to build relationships. Now, I'm not saying that building a relationship will automatically get someone not to do referencing, but do you know what? In some cases, it does, and it makes the entire relationship a lot more easier. Once they believe you that you are a credible person, they're not looking for reasons to justify why your company is not suitable. So, build relationships, get to know that person, add value to the estate agent, it's business and that's one thing that I've done over and over and over again when I'm working with a company or when I started and I had no credit history and I had no properties under my belt I would speak to an agent and I would say hey you've got a property let me point you've got a property on your books that's been sitting that I can see you know it's been sitting for two months how about I try and find you a tenant add value it's this favorite word of mine if you know me it's called reciprocity when you do something for someone they feel more really more really obliged to return that favor back to you so hey start adding value not every single property and every single deal needs to go through focus on building a relationship focus on adding value to that person's business and you'll see how they'll fight your corner you'll see how the agent might go to his landlord and say hey landlord they haven't been operating for quite some time but you know what let's take a gamble I trust him I believe them there's something about him that's what value does guys so that's number one build relationships that helps you overcome or slightly overcome the barriers of being a brand new company and having no no ref no decent referencing number two you might just have to pay three to six months up front this gives both parties, which is the landlord or the estate agent, reassurance that they will receive their rent on time because they've already taken that money from you, so they don't worry. So again, if you're really, really at attached to a deal, which you should never be attached to a deal, but if you're really, 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 really attached to a deal and you really want that deal, then it might be worth considering putting up three to six months up front. Now bear in mind that if you put down six months up front, then you don't have to pay rent for the next four to six months depending on the agreement in some cases and you have to be very careful because in some cases they don't tell you this but if you pay six months up front in some cases you then have to pay another six months in month four just to give you another way to get around it which again take it if you want don't take it if you don't want to what we've done in some cases is we've had to pay six months up front and then we give our notice on month four but by month four, you've got everything you already need in place to apply again for that property. Yes, it might cost you a little bit more money because you then pay another set of admin fees. But guess what? Your company is then in a position to show some sort of credibility or you're able to show that this is what's been generated over the last four months. And then that's evidence to the agent or the landlord that you know what you are doing. So I'm not going to get too into that. That's something that we show people um, at a later stage. But you know what? You've got enough to go on there. The, the third thing you can do is get yourself a guarantor. 
If you know that you're not going to pass referencing, maybe you're not earning enough. Maybe you don't earn the 30 or the 40,000 pounds that they need you to earn in order to, to, to qualify for the property and get yourself a guarantor. Get yourself a family member. Get two or three guarantors together. Some agents might accept that. Get friends who believe in you, that they trust you and they know you're not going to mess up to come together and say, hey, I'll take this property on your behalf and you could give them a small slice. If you're generating £500 a month, you could give someone £50 a month for helping you to be a guarantor. That's the incentive. Because otherwise, why would anyone else put their name up or their money up for you? Number four, you can offer what we call a rent increase. Now, you have to understand landlords, agents, we're greedy people. We do this because we want to make money. So if I'm renting my property out for £1,750 per month and I've got someone that's in there for the next 12 months, it means there's no way I'm going to increase my rent for the next 12 months. But hey, if you come to me and you say, do you know what? I'm happy to actually pay you £1,800. So I'm happy to pay you £1,800 instead. That's £50 extra times 12 months that I've just generated, which goes to pay one month of my mortgage. Does that make sense? offer a rent increase if you have to if you have to obviously that's last minute and then the last one jv find a jv partner that qualifies get them to do all the referencing you manage the entire process and it's a win-win